Hey everybody, today on my channel I want to do something a little different. So this is not a typical video for me. Uh, those of you who follow me, who subscribe to my channel, know that I I like to look into internet scams. I like to get to know internet scammers. I like to figure out what motivates them. I like to figure out, uh, I mean, I like to get to the bottom of things. I like to expose things. I like to find out what makes things tick. I like to solve mysteries, you know? Um, so today I wanted to solve a different kind of mystery. This really doesn't have anything to do with scamming. Um, but it seems to be a phenomenon that I want to get to the bottom of. And I figured, you know, I have somewhat of a following. I have a couple people that seem to be interested in what I do and where I go and who I talk to. So I thought I would just bring you guys along with me. So today we are gonna go solve a mystery. Here in the United States, there is a fast food restaurant called Popeye's Chicken. They have just come out with a brand new chicken sandwich that is taking the world by storm. It has broken the internet. There are articles, there are viral tweets, there are people who are waiting in line for hours upon hours. They are making treks across cities and towns just to get a bite of this chicken sandwich. And so, and so for me, I'm like, what is it about this chicken sandwich that is so wonderful? So I thought, you know, it's a Saturday afternoon. I don't have a lot going on. I finished my chores. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and I'm gonna see what is going on at Popeye's Chicken. And you guys are gonna come with me and together we're gonna find out what makes this chicken so great. This is unbelievable. The line in the drive-thru is to the street, but Check this out, this is really interesting. Here in the drive-thru, you've got a great view of a billboard warning people about internet scams. Isn't that uh, ironic? <laughs> the scam guy here is in Popeyes with a great shot of a scam billboard. I guess the state of Utah is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on advertising, trying to warn Scammers people about these real estate email. scams because I guess in the last year, um, people in Utah have lost over $20 million in the real estate scam. I made a whole video about this. I tried to warn you people. You can watch that video right here. I even interviewed one of the scammers who is behind this. Anyway, it's crazy. But enough of that, let's get a chicken sandwich, shall we? So, um, was walking right through the door and someone came out and he said, if you don't have an hour, you probably ought to not stop here because I guess there's over a half an hour wait for the chicken sandwich. So this is insane. So um, I'm gonna go and find another Popeyes that's not so busy. We're gonna get a chicken sandwich. You know, I uh, apologize if this is boring and if this is not the video that you were hoping that it would be, but I just thought it might be fun to maybe take a break from the scam stuff and maybe take a chance for you guys to get to know me and go out to lunch with me and uh, grab a chicken sandwich together. See where I live. Um, let me show you something really cool. You see this mountain right here? See that big mountain right there? It's called Mount Ben Lomond. So you're probably asking, so what's so cool about that other than the fact that there's a mountain named after Ben? Well, the mountain was the inspiration behind the mountain in the Paramount Pictures logo. Uh, the founder of that studio grew up here in this city, the city of Ogden, and he used that mountain as the inspiration for his studio's logo. So, now you know. Holy crap. Man, what is going on with this chicken? It must have cocaine in it or something. Enjoy your meal. Okay, screw the drive through We're going inside. <laughs> And they're out. They don't even have the sandwiches here. So, let's go find another Popeyes. All right, we have one more Popeyes that's within one hour of driving distance of me. And that's our last hope, because if they don't have it, 
then we're out of luck. We're, there's no chicken sandwich for us today. So I'm gonna call them to make sure they have it before I make the trek out there. <laughs> their phones are busy. Or they're disconnecting their phones. They cannot handle the volume of demand that they're getting. This could be the best and the worst thing to ever happen to Popeyes. They can't, they're showing the world that they don't know how to handle this kind of rush. Chick-fil-A can run 500 people through their drive-thru in 10 minutes. But Popeyes doesn't know what to do if a couple people like their sandwich. All right, we're just gonna take our chances. <laughs> Popeye's number three, they say three times a charm. Say a prayer for me. We're going inside. This is our last hope. I don't like vlogging in public, so I have to be really quiet. But the sign says that they're out, but you're not gonna believe this. The lady got me one. <laughs> I'm just gonna set up a second camera here so you can see what I'm seeing. Moment of truth. You can almost hear how good it is. That was awesome. The big question that's going on right now is, is it better than Chick-fil-A? Um, I think it's more complicated than that. Let me write it out for you. So here I've got the customer service, like the ease that it was to actually get the sandwich versus the taste. The taste for the Popeye sandwich was really good, so it's going to be way up here on the taste level. But the customer service, the ordeal that I had to go through to get that thing, I'm going to put that way over here. So Popeye's is going to land right here. Chick-fil-A is still a pretty good sandwich. The taste is probably just a little lower, but the customer service cannot be beat. So, so there's my final review of the Popeye's chicken sandwich versus the Chick-fil-A sandwich. It's a pretty good sandwich and I'm definitely gonna go back, but I need Popeye's to figure their stuff out before I do. Anyway, um, that was a random video that I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you for spending your Saturday with me and having lunch with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, next time we're going to have more scam material, so I hope that you subscribe and check back. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.